Hi everyone, it's Sherry. I hope that you're having a wonderful day. Y'all, let's make something that's very beautiful, fun, and useful. Stay tuned. so glad that you decided to stop by and welcome to all of my new friends and to all of my new subscribers. Welcome back to all of my longtime friends and longtime subscribers. Today is Make a Card Monday and we're going to make a very unique card. I'll give you a look at the outside and I'll give you a closer look in just a minute but y'all know what time it is. It's time to make it. All right y'all so here's a closer look at today's awesome little card when finished, it measures four and a quarter by five and a half. And I'm keeping it very simple on the outside because the magic of the card is on the inside. So I have decorated the outside with the cut apart. But when you open it, on this side, I have a nice little greeting. But on this side, I'm using two cut aparts that I left folded to create what I'm calling a card and a card. But what makes this even more special is that we're able to add a gift card to this as well. So you can write your wonderful message here. You can even write something here if you want. Then you can tuck in a Starbucks, a Target, Michael's, Hobby Lobby, any card that you might want to put in here, you can tuck it behind your message. So here's what we're going to need to make this awesome project and we will be making an envelope as well. So I have two cut aparts that are still joined together. These are three by four each and I'll be folding these. So what I have here is a six by four inch piece in case you don't have cut aparts that you want to use, but you do have a six by four inch piece that you think is pretty and you want to use that. So I have one piece that measures six by four that I will be folding in half. Then I have a three by four cut apart for the outside of my card. Then I have a mat for that three by four cut apart. And this measures three and a quarter by four and a quarter. Then I have my card to make the card. And this measures eight and a half by five and a half. Then I have just a standard piece of scrapbook paper, very lightweight to make the envelope. And this measures seven and three quarters by 12. And then I have a border piece that measures two by five and a half. So what we're going to do first is we're going to go ahead and take our five and a half by eight and a half inch cardstock. And on the eight and a half inch side, we're going to score at four and a quarter. And then we can fold it. And that gives us our card. I'm going to go ahead and take the cut apart put it in on the six inch side and let's score at three. Fold it and that gives us the card for the inside. And then we're going to go ahead and take the piece that measures two by five and a half and on the two inch side, we're going to score that at one and fold it. So now we can put our easy peasy card together. So I'm going to take the piece that measures two by five and a half, add some tape, and I'm going to place this on the front of the card only on one inch, like that. Then I'm going to take the cut apart that measures three by four. I'm going to add some tape to the back. And we're going to place this down. And as you guys know, we do any season, any reason, any gender crafting. So all you have to do is swap out your paper and this card technique will work for anything that you might need it to work for. So we're going to take this and place it right there. I'm going to add my tape to the back and take this piece and I'm going to place it right there. And that really is all I'm going to do to the outside. 
So now I'm going to take this piece and we're going to put it on the inside just like this. So to do that, I'll be placing glue along here, here, and here. And I will be placing a very thin bead. And now I can take this and we can put it right here. So I'm going to take this little sticker here that says believe and we're going to put it there. And now I can take my card and we can place it in right there. So this is a very easy way to make a card for any season, any reason, any gender. You can decorate this as much or as little as you want. I'm not going to decorate this any more than I already have because I like to keep it simple but we do need an envelope. So I'm going to bring in the piece that measures seven and three quarters by 12. On the seven and three quarter inch side, we're going to score at one and at six and three quarters. Then we're going to turn it to the 12 inch side and we're going to score at four and a quarter and at eight and five eighths. And then we're going to fold and burnish all of our scores. And now what we'll be doing is we're going to be cutting so that we can free these two flaps. So I'm just going to go to the score mark, angle in, and angle in there. There's that one flap. And I'll rotate to the opposite side and do the same thing. And there are my two flats. Now with these pieces here, we just cut down and cut in at an angle. And so there is our envelope. I like to take my ends and just round them a little. And I round them because I think it just looks better. So now I'm going to take my glue and I'm going to place some glue here and some glue right there. Then on the widest end, which is the bottom, this is a little bit shorter than this, we're going to place some glue on that wider end. Then we can fold up and get that nice and stuck. And so now I can take my card and we can place that card inside. And now we have a beautiful envelope to present our card in. And the card for me would have a gift card on the inside because I am making this to be a gift card holder. You don't have to, but I think it would be a nice treat for someone. So there is my card, there is my envelope, and there is that first card. This is a very simple, but highly effective way to make a card in a hurry, not a whole lot of materials needed, and then to make a nice little coordinating envelope. So guys, I hope that you have enjoyed today's super simple Make a Card Monday. If you have, please hit the like button. If you are not a subscriber to my channel, I would love to have you join this amazing online crafting family. You guys, as always, please be safe, be kind, be the reason someone smiles today. Happy crafting, and we'll chat later. Bye.